we're back. Hi guys, I'm back with my second unboxing um, for the day. I got two pretty decent sized orders from two different plant sellers. Um, if you want to check out my Logies um, unboxing video, um, the sister video to this one, I guess, um, please feel free to check out the link in the description below. And then for this little fun event, we're going to open my box from Peppers. I've never ordered from Peppers before. This will be new for me. I have heard about them though, so I'm excited to see what plants, what the plants look like and how everything um, fared on its journey to me. So I am just cutting open the box right now. It's not really a good way for me to show you this. I don't really know if you guys care to see me try and use the scissors incorrectly. And Hound Dog is right here and has her nose right in the middle of everything as per usual. Can you sit? Or down? Yeah, that works. Thank you. Okay, so pretty decently boxed. Everything is separated. Everything is, you know, looks to be in fairly decent order here. Things are taped. I do see soil loose in the box, but I don't know how much of that, you know, is going to impact the plants directly. <gasps> okay. I haven't found my packing list yet. I'm hoping this is labeled. So from Peppers, I got a bunch of Ripsalis. Some new ones that I hadn't seen around or hadn't found any yet. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at this little guy. He's in kind of a big box for the size of him. So this is the clumpy mistletoe cactus is the common name. Holy mackerel. And the botanical name is Ripsalis mesembrathamoides. Mesembrathem mesembranthamoides. Mesembranthamoides. Huh. <laughs> Ripsalis mesembranthamoides. Look at that growth. That is so cool. Kind of reminds me of like a fir tree, but all of these little segments here are, are like, you know, your Ripsalis bassifera, that kind of jungle cactus kind of texture to them. Oh, but it, it looks like a, like a pine needles. Ah, <laughs> that's so fun. Oh my God. Okay. What's next? I'm really excited now. And that arrived in really good condition. In really good condition it seems to be you know not a lot of soil loss from what I can see we'll kind of get into the box here and see what that's all about if that pattern holds hey hound dog can you sit down please oh. that's nice thank you Ooh. I would love you very much if you could sit down can you down? Yes. Good job, sweetie. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, bummer. Okay. So this one is called Ripsalis Cassutha. Cassutha. Ripsalis Cassutha. No idea if I'm saying any of these right. So this one looks like it kind of had a tragedy happen to it in transit. Um, its biggest little stock here got bent and that's gonna fall off that's not really even connected to the plant anymore but the good thing with Ripsalis is so I just pulled it off what I'm gonna do is stick it right back in the soil and they regenerate or they they root very very easily so We'll see. 
but I have an okay feeling that we'll be able to save that that big tendril there. All right, so Ripsalis cassifa is number two. They're fairly big pots. I'm interested to see what their roots look like because obviously you don't want to keep them in pots and in soil that is going to be too big for them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's big. Look at that little drapey draper. I have no idea what a drapey draper is. So this is, common name is the coral cactus, and the botanical name is Ripsalis syriascula. To my best guess at pronunciation. Pronunciation. Wow. Random leaf in there. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. What a weirdo. Oh my gosh. This is very cool. So, has these offshoots kind of growing out of the main kind of center stalk of the plant. They all kind of look like <laughs> oh, that's crazy. These are so cute. So I see a couple of broken ends on these ones too. Not, not super worried about that. We'll just pop them right back in. See what they do. Very cool. So that's three. Three Ripsalis. Two more plants in the box. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay. Peppers. Very impressed so far. What? Are you kidding? <laughs> like, are you honestly kidding me? This is Ripsalis rhombia. I am getting dirt all over my lap in my enthusiasm to get this plant open. Oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. It's just a very hefty, solid feeling jungle cactus. It feels like the, the edges are scalloped. They have that red tint to them. I don't know if that will stick around. Probably depends on what kind of light you're giving it. Oh my God. Flatly, oh, and they all have little descriptions on them too. That's neat. Pepper. So thorough and amazing quality and like, quantity even quantity and quality four for four right now this is really cool and I'm gonna say today was kind of a tough day for a plant delivery because we got snow yesterday we got four inches of snow here and <laughs> it's cold it's not a warm day at all by any means so that's going right there <laughs> So far, so good. Okay, I have one more plant to unbox for Pepper, and I will definitely be ordering from them again. That is a guarantee. This is incredible. Very, very cool. I'm very, very pleased. Oh, this one looks like it might have fared the worst. So, <laughs> maybe... I mean, to be fair, it was at the bottom. I don't know if this one should have been at the bottom. Okay, so this one, four out of five. Not, not, not bad. But this one is not in good shape. So pulling it out, that's what she looks like. This is not a Ripsalis, this is a Peperomia. Peperomia Metallica Columbiana. And 
out of the out of the pot. So it looks like too a lot of leaves came off. Bummer. Yeah. So this one didn't quite make it. Um, I'm gonna do what I can with this little this little piece that came out. I might try and see if I can get it into soil right away. See if I can help it. Uh, but yeah, that's. To be honest, four out of five. I will have to check the prices. I feel like this one might have been the most expensive one. I'll just have to check on that though. I might be way wrong. So that's okay. We're doing okay. <laughs> Poor little pep. So that is my peppers unboxing. I would say overall really happy with that. Um, in spite of the one plant that didn't quite make it which I need to find a home for immediately here. Um, everything else, really excited about my Ripsalis. I added four Ripsalis and three Hoya to my collections. And I will be sure, you know, down the road to post some updates for you to kind of check out their progress and how they're acclimating to my house. And yeah, that is it. It's a pretty good little Monday. Not mad. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, please feel free. Um, let me know how, what you thought of the, the plants or the videos or etc. down in the comments if you want to leave a comment. I love to chat with you guys. So thanks for watching again and until next time, enjoy your plants.